Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Erotic Book Club, the book club where we read erotic books. <laughs> I am your host, Jess. With me, as always, is the beautiful Reka. Woo! Thank you so much for joining us. You know all the ways to join us. You can catch us on all the places where you catch your podcast on CH2. But if you want to be the first to hear it, uh, you got to be on Dropout. Subscribe to Dropout, where you can see not only this podcast, all of our podcasts, as well as all of our awesome shows, D20, What the Fuck 101, uh, Total Forgiveness just came out, or by the time this comes out, maybe the grand finale so we're all excited for that mm. uh we also have a discord a channel on there where you guys can talk directly to us uh it's one of our favorite parts of it we love chatting with you guys i got some quotes as always yes uh from kev Bo. I actually didn't specifically wrote what he said because it was so sweet and touching and I didn't want to share his personal life. But he just said that him and his wife listen to it together and it like brings them closer. Uh, and it just truly warmed my heart and I thought it was so cool. I have another one from Room Magic and I hope it's not like, yeah, it's similar. It's just like, I got my husband addicted to erotic book club and now we watch it together. Ah! I love it. So beautiful. Name your babies, Jess and Reka. Yeah. Yes, you're having twins. You're all having twins. <laughs> um, Lava Hot uh, posed a question about what good vaginal adjectives would be. And I wrote down some top contenders. Moist, a go-to. Uh, flesh, fleshicle, uh, damp cavern, <laughs> slip and slide, nature's pocket, Nature's Hot Pocket. Yum. That Nature's one. Hot Pocket with broccoli and cheese. <laughs> Burn the roof of your mouth. Um, that, uh, that was Weeb Lord wrote my favorite. I thought he deserved a little shout out. Uh, there's some beautiful fan art of Trap as a shitty bitch. Mm -hmm. You'll remember Trap from our Wet for Nessie episode. Kind of the cult classic yeah. episode. Uh, and then uh, someone on YouTube commented, uh, Everyone there is gay. They're always mocking heterosexual relationships. Uh, I did just want to comment, in, in not even a mean way, we're not all gay. Um, I am bi, but and some guests are different orientations. And if it seemed like we were mocking heterosexual relationships, I do apologize, sincerely. That's not my intention. <laughs> uh, if you were just maybe uh, throwing a bit of hyperbole out there, then, uh, you know, maybe that's the case too. But I just wanted to comment on that. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I'm not above... Saying sorry if that's something that I did. Wow, Jess. Wow. That's really beautiful. Yeah. You know what else is beautiful? Fuck straight people. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Fuck it, man! Fuck it! Don't want that! Go fuck yourself, you fucking breeder! <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. And she apologizes. And, and she I apologize. does apologize. <laughs> um, Jess, we have some awesome guests here today, we don't we? We do. We absolutely do. We had a, uh, well, first our book was Stress Treatment uh, by Olivia Ruin. Yes. It was a lesbian, lesbian medical, medical first time. time. So That's, kind of the, a triple threat. It's sort of a triple threat. In the erotic You can do world. those three things, you will nail it in Hollywood. And, <laughs> uh, and we, we knew we had to get some experts in here who had some like insight into the psyche of these two characters. Yes. Um, so we are so lucky to have with us uh, an expert in being a patient. I believe uh, you went to the doctor recently. Yes, I did. Yes, wow. we have with us Kendra. Great. Hi. I hope, I hope you really shed some light on like what that experience was like during this. Yeah, process. I go to the doctor a lot. Yeah. Wow. Because I think things are always wrong with me and mm -hmm. I want to get checked out and make sure that they're not. Yeah, mm. that's, that's incredible. That's really yeah, So good. I have a lot of experience. Yeah, that's mm. terrific. Yes, and your experience with uh, with erotic books, is this your first this time? This is my first time. Welcome. Wow. And this is their <laughs> the first, first time. time. Exactly, yeah. so we, first time. Time. we shared this together. Damn. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, we also have another expert here. Uh, a medical expert, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, please welcome. Kalila. Hey, I'm Kalila. I'm Kali close. Kalila. Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's Kalila. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I went to medical school and uh, <laughs> I can't say that I ever fingered a patient. What? That's not true. Uh, not, no, what? not like that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Not like that. Not like that. What? Oh my God. What? I'm talking about my gynecology ro um, rotation. It, it wasn't like that, though. It wasn't sexual. It was just, you know, you have to stick your fingers in there. Um, but wow. uh, yeah. Well, I, this wasn't have... sexual either. This was for treatment. 
Right. <laughs> right. Well, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Uh, so you are legitimately a medical expert, which yeah. is fantastic. So you can shed light on the doctor perspective, whereas Kendra can highlight the patient perspective. Yes. And that's going to be really Good team. harmonious. Teamwork. And yeah. that brings yeah. us to stress treatment. Yes. Uh, if you did not have the joy of reading stress treatment, um, it, it's 30 pages. You could do it in the blink of an eye. Uh, the characters are Stacy. She is our busy business woman who has come to the doctor with a head ache. And let me, let me tell you, this woman is busy. She is she so busy. 90 to 100 hours. <laughs> what is the normal work week? So a normal 40 hours 40, is the right? standard. So eight hours a day, five days a week. So unless you're a resident. Then it's like ninety we, to hundred. I was like, "Oh, is she I a doctor thinking, too?" Because the doctor yeah. seems shocked when she hears it. She right. drops her pad, and she I was did. like, "No, oh, doctor, <laughs> my God!" I was sort of winging it when I did this. <laughs> it's like the usual suspect's moment when he drops his cup. <laughs> um, the doctor's like, "I worked like thirty-five. <laughs> I don't know how you managed that, right?" Yeah. Uh, crazy, leading us to so our funny. second character. There's only two characters: uh, Doctor Burnett, who. Really stole my heart by the end. Oh, of so no. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will agree. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll. We'll see. Uh, so we at the beginning there are no chapters, so we can't go chapter by chapter. It's kind of one big sexy paragraph. chapter, one big paragraph. <laughs> Uh, with a couple typos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kalila noticed some typos. I definitely picked up on the typos. <laughs> which meant to me, I'm not really where I'm supposed to be mentally for mm. the enjoyment of this book, but, you know. Yeah. Grammar. Unless a yeah, typo gets important. you off. That's true. Maybe oh, it's well, dirty to true. some people. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, this person like, has no rules. Missing <laughs> this person doesn't I... give a shit. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> um, Stacy is sitting in the doctor's office. Uh, she's normally too busy for physicals. Way too uh, busy. Which sounds like, Kendra, that's never an issue. <laughs> that's never an issue. How can you ever be too busy yeah. to get checked out when something is wrong with you? Yeah. But she is a head of a multinational, international uh, yeah. company. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that means. Whatever it is. A multinational. Multinational, yeah, yeah. Multinational company. What does that mean? Uh, is that just like... Coca-Cola? Coke? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, this is the CEO of Coke. Oh my God. Yeah. They do have women in leadership I roles I think she's there. Indian too, which is like, is she? Yeah. Stacy? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh my God. I was like, did, yeah. how did you Stacey get that? that? Stacy she... is white. <laughs> we all know Stacy is white. Well, the Everyone. doctor's white. Is the, the other one white for I sure? I think they're both Did white. they describe her? They never they, really did. They didn't. I think but she's, she's in her from... early, well, in her early 20s. Like she referred to herself as when I was in my early twenties. So she's the in her so she's yeah. later than early twenties. I think she's like twenty nine or so. I feel like they said late twenty. Like if, I, I don't know. I clocked her Who? as twenty nine. The doctor or the no other? the uh, patient. The patient. patient. I but thought maybe she I'm was wrong. fifty. Wow. wow! I did. I did. I don't know. I <laughs> this is a prism. <laughs> <laughs> the refracted life. I'm like everyone's yeah. like, what kind beautiful. of typo? What? No, <laughs> hold on. The doctor comes in. I wrote this. Surprised. It's a young blonde woman, younger than thirty. So the doctor's younger than thirty. The doctor, right. The doctor, right. Stacy right. right. is okay. in like her mid thirties. Oh, and okay. mid thirties. Okay. 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 She's right. always referred to in the author's eyes, Stacy, as the older woman. And I remember that. <laughs> Oh, like, woman Jesus means 50 Christ. to me. Yeah. She's 30. She's probably 32. Come on. This is older gotta be woman. a guy. Okay, so no. 30 octogenarian bag of dust <laughs> <laughs> went in for her physical. <laughs> um, she's in the room. The room is quite cold. Uh, she notices that her nipples are hard. And that's, she's nervous that the doctor may see them. Yes. That's pretty accurate. You, you get oh, to you notice that? Y okay. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty accurate. It is very cold in a yeah. doctor's office. Yeah. <laughs> and do you get self-conscious yeah, yeah. about that kind of stuff? Uh, yes. Okay. We don't want you to get too comfortable. That's why it's cold. It, it, from a doctor's perspective, yeah, do yeah. you, yeah, it, what is the, yeah. That's a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that can't be true, but honestly, doctors are fucked, so maybe. Because <laughs> well, I know comedy theaters, they want it to be cold because they want you to be awake. Yeah. Yeah. If you're like in a warm room, it makes you the sleepy. And I mean, I don't know why doctors would give a shit maybe. about that. Or is it, I, I imagined always it was like a clinical reason, like they keep 
stuff at a certain temperature and it just bleeds into all the rooms or whatever. I don't know. Huh. Huh. Well, I mean, the stuff that needs to be refrigerated or kept at a certain temperature is yeah. like in a, a different in a area. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I don't know. Are I think... the lab coats hot? Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of moving around. Yeah, I guess you don't want to. Especially for this doctor. Yeah. There was a lot of motion. I guess so you she don't probably want a sweaty was a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Right? That'd be really weird. No, that's yeah, a, I don't want. Yeah, oh, somebody wants to. I think they're lying. Or, ma'am, yeah. you don't have cancer. <laughs> Wait a minute. It looks like I do, according to the sweat on your brow. No. Uh, <laughs> what is it you're not telling me? Um, <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. I'm so um, fucking stupid. But also, from a doctor's perspective, do you notice, like, the nervousness of patients in that way? Or is it kind of just like, you're making rounds, like, a million people a day. You, like... This who is this person? Great, like you're not paying attention, <laughs> kind of thing. I've noticed uh, when there's a level of attraction, maybe that the patient has for you. Really? Then, yeah. Then they're kind of weird acting, or or you know. But if they're not, you know, being that way, then it's usually not a big deal. I, I yeah. you know, in the experience that I've had, I've not gone in being like. Oh, um, I wonder if this person's excited to see me or nervous, yeah. but it's just kind of like you walk in and you're doing whatever, and then you sometimes can catch what they're thinking. That's so Kendra. <laughs> I can't believe how many doctors have you fallen in love with? Well, maybe a half a one. Oh, half. A half a one. A half a one. Yeah. There was an eye doctor once. Oh. I thought it was cute. Oh, I've never been attracted to a And you like just the right eye. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just in my right eye. <laughs> I have a friend who uh, went out on a date with her doctor who, after he did a breast exam on her, I was like, was that <gasps> weird? I mean, you know, they didn't make a relationship, which this is actually wrong. This is ethically yeah. wrong. He shouldn't have asked her out on a date, but he did. I guess he liked her breasts. I don't know. <laughs> well, speaking of ethics, <laughs> I mean... So Stacy is in this room, right? And she's yes. like cold and nervous. And uh, I think then when the doctor comes in, right, she says that she has a headache. But then Stacy uh, clocks her as like a beautiful blonde, beautiful yes. young blonde. She noticed. Who's mm-hmm. very small <laughs> or short, very thin or something, right? Yeah. And then also she clocked that uh, the doctor's lab coat uh, was <laughs> such that she's like, she could be wearing a dress but maybe the hemline is either equal or shorter yes. than the length of the coat, or she could be wearing nothing at all on a mm-hmm. lab coat. Like a Halloween costume. A yeah. When you're a bra. sexy doctor. Yeah, yes. yes. sexy doctor. Yes. Um, <laughs> I did like the part, so she tells the doctor that she, you know, her long work week and she's been getting these headaches. She's the VP of uh, Coca-Cola, <laughs> uh, which we love. <laughs> Uh, which we think is tasty. This is a direct it's quote from her. The, for the, sure. I took down so many direct quotes from this book because they speak like two power bitches who like are computers. <laughs> yeah, we were saying it, it sounds like an alien wrote this book. Or I mean, men. It's very intense but rewarding position. And I am proud of making it to this level. Many women don't. And I've shut up a lot of people along the way. <laughs> shut up, people. To you know, doctor. Shut up. You know who people. probably wrote that? You know Watson, the computer from Jeopardy that like competed <laughs> a lot. Is that his name? His name is Watson. <gasps> oh. I bet like a Watson like AI bot it truly feels like that in some sections. And I got, I, and I didn't know if that was supposed to be, yeah, like part of the, um, like, I'm going to tell you what to do yeah. now. And I think that that is the aesthetic, but also just a weird kind of computer vibe. Because we're kind of talking about, like, the three uh, subtitles sort of under this book are lesbian, medical, and first time. There's, yes. like, the genre tags. So, like, that hits medical pretty hard. Like, the clinical... Everything. That's what it is. Everything mm-hmm. felt very clinical. Oh, and you're oh, right. Yeah. It did. Hey. It did. It was like layer. It was that on purpose? Hey. I, yeah. Was I think it was. Yeah. yeah. I think it's. I picked this book specifically because I was like, I've never been attracted to a doctor. I know there is a thing of like, oh, doctor, da da, you know. But I never got super into that aesthetic. <laughs> so I was like, well, maybe there's just something about it, and I could definitely see where this like tickles a certain part of somebody who just kind of wants to be told by a powerful figure like what to do and when to do it and just listen to me. But I think I'm a little too stubborn. 
And she saw the <laughs> <night>. <laughs> all doctor's orders. If I suck at montage from earlier, uh, maybe I'm a bit too much of a rebel. You're a bad patient? I'm, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm a great patient. Jess wouldn't have taken this doctor's treatment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to treat you bad. I'm offended. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, um, she gets her medical history, uh, and as she's taking her medical history, Dr. Burnett is to Stacy. she's asking, uh, what about your relationships, your sexual activity? Uh, and she says that she has not been, she's not had sex for six years. Uh, oh, this drop is when the doctor's again. Pad, yeah, <laughs> yeah, drop yeah. again. Oh, what? <laughs> How are you alive? And now, Kalila, is this standard? Do you sort of like Judge sex all shame? Of your pain? <laughs> sex shame. There should be no reaction. Although sometimes you hear things that are like, "What the fuck?" But you can't you can't show that to the patient because there's no judgment in this room. Yes, but it is it is standard to ask sexual history for yes. uh, treatment purposes. I Not thought that, that was detail. totally standard. Yeah. yeah, that is standard. But I don't think asking like, "Do you have a boyfriend?" or like whatever. Or she asks, how often do you yeah. masturbate? Well, they do ask you about your sexual partners and yes. if you are in a long-term relationship. So the boyfriend thing, yeah. you know, not it's so like, much. Yeah. It's like a risk assessment. Yeah. Like, are yeah. you out here fucking everybody right. without protection or are you fucking one person? Right. Yeah. Now, Kendra, as someone who's been a patient, if a doctor dropped their notepad <laughs> after you said something about your history... What would your reaction be? How many hoagies did you eat? <laughs> How many hoagies do you three. eat? Three. Yeah. I eat three to five hoagies a week. <laughs> um, I would just have to like, hey, you making fun of me? Yeah. Are you making fun of me right now? I, I would like, I, I would try to play it really cool, but I would like almost be crying if like a doctor was that judgmental. No, I gotta call you out. Cause yeah. if you just made me try to try to make me feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna make you feel uncomfortable. Ma'am, how many people in your family have high blood pressure? Oh my God. <laughs> what do you guys eat? I'm gonna like, how many people in your family have high blood pressure? Set? The table, turn right, the turn tables. tables. There's a good way to, if you do have judgment and you somehow accidentally let it out, you just turn it into a cough or <laughs> you know, like, are you saying <laughs> Kalila or, you ruined any doctor's trip I have now if right. they cough or sweat I'm like I'm right. getting the fuck out of here <laughs> or you put your face down and like really become intent on the paperwork so you can or you drop your pad. did you just write something <laughs> if, if, if my doctor if I was like I haven't had sex in six years and they're like <laughs> 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 I was, I was <laughs> throws up. <laughs> oh, sorry, bad blood. <laughs> oh, by the way, doctors do tell their other doctor friends stories about you guys. <gasps> but it's HIPAA, no names. HIPAA, HIPAA, HIPAA is respected, so no names are used. Or but I you didn't. Can, but you, if you see me walking out, you know it was about me. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> wait till the end of the day, not right when you walk okay, out. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the one. That's oh, the one. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's the one that hasn't had sex in six years. <laughs> So Dr. Burnett picks up her pad, and this is our first kind of sexy moment. We get a little flash of a silver bra, Ooh. which I don't think what? silver's that hot. Which I, I don't know. either. Silver strikes me as like tacky, like a '90s or like like a um, yeah, mm -hmm. what like a teen or early girl. 2000s. Yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah, yeah, like in video, like music videos where their hair's in like little pom poms, Ooh. and you always show your bra straps under a spaghetti right, strap. Right, right. Like, What's the sexiest bra color? Oh. Ooh. I like like a I like as someone with like brown skin. I love the way like like dark blues and like dark oh my plums. god! I was gonna say navy. Yeah, like a dark plum. <laughs> like I really like those or colors. Black. black and fuchsia. Black. Bl oh, those fuchsia. are good. Yeah, mm -hmm. fuchsia. I was also picturing the. I imagine to be fair, blonde haired lady with a silver eye. I was like, oh. Did she wash out. No. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't match. She That's looked so washed out. <laughs> she looked like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> a very I like thing. when um, when Kate wears like uh, we have this like cardigan with no bra and then it's like eat a little of this oh. and then just like a little boob right oh, here. Like the peak oh, of yeah, the yeah. like, uh, like the Jenny and Forrest Gump when she's in Playboy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. remembers that mm -hmm. iconic moment from yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, do you imagine that this bra had any like like the little like 
little tags that inexplicably exist on bras. Like in a between. jewel? Like the jewels, <laughs> the hanging jewels in between. I, I or the think so. Lacy. I think she goes all out for her patience. Yeah, lacy. That's I, what I was I was imagining. thinking like sparkly, uh, what's that called? Threads. <laughs> 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 Mm. Uh, what is it? Yarn? Fabric. Yeah. Fabric. Yeah. Yeah. Fabric. Yeah. fabric. I'm going to go with fabric. Isn't that just a crochet? Her yes. <laughs> nipples are sticking out of the little eyelids. <laughs> it doesn't have I any support. I imagine like a chain mail. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's like a knight underneath. Oh, like, um, like Zoe uh, Kravitz just wore to some party. She it was wore like a chain mail. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it, it was her gold. Oscar dress? And it was I over think it was the after dress? party. Oh, I yeah, thought it was the Oscars hot. after party. Over, like, like a chain like she's a very hot yeah, cute. but it wasn't hot. over it was just nipples under you could see very clearly i would be worried about metal on nipple yeah like hmm. i feel like that would make me uncomfortable and then it's kind of cold it's out cold. so yeah. it's like cold 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 nipple it's been really cold this uh this month it has been it has i can relate to stacy <laughs> <laughs> right. i think we all have a little stacy right. in us <laughs> Um, so after speaking with her, after asking if she's masturbated, the doctor uh, diagnoses her. Because Stacey uh, hasn't. She doesn't she, like masturbating. Or she, she doesn't right. do it. No, she she has doesn't not. do it. I did relate to her on that. Now, that was my old life. Yeah. Now, I masturbate probably too much. But yeah. back when I was like young yeah. and like did not feel like, I was like, I'm going to know it's me. It's not going to make a difference until I was introduced. I, and, I got introduced pretty late yeah, 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 to it as well. Like two years ago. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. Wow, that's common. I, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, like when I graduated college basically and it was like, I was the same same boat of like, yeah, I get it. Like Stick what? It. what <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm awesome! <laughs> I'm amazing. I think young men, it's so it's like in every movie that we would see, they'd be like fucking pies and yeah. like if, like <laughs> masturbation was yeah. very much a part of a young man's life. And girls, it was like, why don't you just go try on another pair of pants? Yeah. <laughs> like, male right. representation. No, talking to you know, young women about like here's how you make yourself feel good. It's yeah, like right. oh, how do you do X Y Z to make a man then make you feel good? Right, and even right. getting hyper specific, the idea of penetrative sex was like yeah. a thing that I didn't quite understand the appeal of like when learning about like sex ed and stuff where it was like oh like that didn't really appeal to me and like the clit was never a oh, thing yeah. mentioned yeah. just like a pleasure I thing. didn't hear that until I was in medical school I never heard that word yeah that's <laughs> fucking crazy so the I, only people getting off in this country are people in medical school <laughs> <laughs> you have to get a fucking doctorate in order to get off. <laughs> Damn. Um, so she's diagnosed, and the doctor says, I'm going to treat you with an insertion. Uh, Stacy's a little worried about getting a needle in her butt, but it turns out that that is not the kind of insertion that this doctor was talking no, about. No, no, no. Uh, she, in a, again, a very clinical way, is just like, stand up, turn over, and then she inserts uh, two fingers inside of her. Uh, she felt then, yeah, something warm and slippery enter her vagina. Oh, there was a moment before this where she was Stacy was happy that she had shaved because she didn't want to see the doctor to see her big giant bush. Yeah, that's which, always a concern. Yes, I think that patients have. Well, the yes. doctors. Have. <laughs> I wish I could say it's not something that bothered me, but if I'm going to the gynecologist, yeah, you gotta, yeah, kind of, you gotta make it nice for the yeah. gynecologist. Yeah, I, I, I have never, but I under, I like, and I do feel self conscious. Yes. Yeah, you've never been to the gynecologist? No, I've been to the gynecologist. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do anything for her. Oh. <laughs> you don't like put a nice little bead or braid. Yeah, or like a little note, or a little butterfly, butterfly clip, like butterfly. maybe like a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> next to it <laughs> i'm always like oh i don't want my doctor to think because because i feel like like we're kind of peers so like if he talks shit about right. his patient like it's me and oh I'm my like, and he, there's is there I a hipaa look. to protect a doctor talking about a doctor he, well yeah hipaa applies to everybody but i'm you know mm -hmm. i'm not gonna be the one mm -hmm. who's embarrassed like because mm -hmm. my doctor's talking shit about my vagina it's yeah. gotta yeah. look cute for her. I didn't know doctors I, were running their mouths this much about everybody. <laughs> yeah. I've never cared. Yeah. If it's hairy, Good if it's you. not, I've just never cared. Yeah. You're down there to do a job. Yeah. That's true. You know what? And if you can't do your job, something's wrong with you. Yeah. Like if I'm going to New York City, I'm not like, why is there so much trash everywhere? I know that that's part of the deal. <laughs> right. It's part of it. Yeah. Are you comparing your vagina to New, New York, York City? <laughs> trash. <laughs> hairy bushes are trash. You gotta love yourself. No. At least I Chicago's love trash. I love New 
New York. <laughs> New York in all I, of its trash. I miss it. I love New York. My vagina is so lucky to be called New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the doctor is applying the treatment. Uh, it got a little Me Too-ish there for me. I think so, too. Because there has to be notification yeah. of entrance. Of, you can't just... Yeah. <laughs> because, especially because part of this that was so complicated to grapple with is Stacy, the protagonist, has definitely hang-ups about, like, female attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, and she, she says many times, I'm not a lesbian, which is fine if you're questioning your sexuality and all this stuff and you're not sure. But to couple that with... A doctor doing that, it mm -hmm. feels very, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was like, there's no consent here. I'm yes. uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah. I didn't get into it until kind of the second act of this uh, paragraph <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when there is a bit more of like, okay, I did like what now just it's happened. Consensual? And yes. now okay. I'm a bit more curious and right. interested in what's happening. Yeah. And this first one's a bit it, off putting yes. for sure. What struck me as odd was in her mind, she said, you know what? I'm gonna just go with it. Yeah. And I can always just sue her later. Yes. That, <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. I'm like, Direct when does quote. that ever work? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For your mental uh, health. Actually, I was thinking that's kind of normally how it goes. And that's yeah. why people are, you know, very vocal after the fact. Because mm. it's like during it, you're you kind of questioning what's happening. You're not sure. And then at least for me, it takes some distance to realize, wait a minute, that was fucked up. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. But I mean, that's not everybody. So. No. To no. I, <laughs> yeah. I. It makes sense. It, I, I'm glad she trusts the legal system. <laughs> <laughs> it's like beautiful, honestly. Yeah. I don't know that the, the part two of it is the normal thing, but like maybe in the moment, like, I uh, guess. Uh, is this I don't part know. of procedure? I'll check later. Y I'll check later. Yeah. I don't know. It feels good. I don't know. Well, what, this is an interesting thing, too, because so like in some of these books, you only get one perspective of like the sex and like mm. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is interesting that a lot of us weren't really into it until Stacy was into it, which is like, yeah, it's really helpful to hear both sides of the equation of like what is being done and what the person receiving it feels. Yeah. yeah. It's like two halves of the erotica equation. Yeah. Right. Right. And I guess it's hard too because there are fantasies of like just being taken. Yes. And then, yeah, where d can that live within the world of consent? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 Is there like a, a clause like before anything happens? Like, you know, it's 50 a fantasy. Shades already stole that storyline. Right. So. It's, it's, it's a fantasy to be taken and like you know i'm gonna say no but still do it maybe like, that yeah. was we didn't see but when she's flying on like the oh, paperwork oh, and oh, that's yeah. true. you know what Could've this doctor probably did have that in her in her paper paperwork yeah probably. yeah when you say that like they have the right to your medical records it's also like also i can finger you let's <laughs> <laughs> hope stacy doesn't try to sue yeah <laughs> um so uh, the fingering happens and she gets more and more into it. The doctor gently rubs the older woman's clit. They constantly older refer to woman. her as the older woman. That's 55 plus. I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, just some of the language firing synapses in her brain that yeah. had never been fired before. She have you ever heard of sex described that way? I mean, it is very much like the science. I liked the firing synapses because I get that there's like a little... There's like a, I don't know. I think I it's because it. she never had an orgasm. Yes. And that does something different to you. Yes. Well, yeah. That is kind of a, a twist. <laughs> the uh, twist. A Shyamalan <laughs> twist. This woman has never had an orgasm. And she, she was living yes. in the 21st century. <laughs> in her older oh woman years. God. Right. Which equals 30. Yeah. She's never had <laughs> an orgasm. Oh my God, this quote. Uh, so the doctor uh, giving her her treatment brings her to orgasm. Uh, Stacy felt as though she died and had been reborn a, a thousand, thousand times, times over, over as an audible waves crashed through her. I liked that. Damn. A that's insane. Times. That's kind of nice. That yeah. is insane. You had been, have you ever felt like you've been, you died and were reborn I again? wish I had. No. I feel like I've felt that a time or two. That's like, awesome. What? Oh, I'm dead. Take everything that I have. And then like, oh, I'm back. And I enjoyed that death. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Sex is like death. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like death probably feels good. I don't know. Mm. I mean, it's like a release. Like, okay. Like, and then like, you know, then you don't know what happens on the other side of it, but I'm imagining good things. So pleasant. Right. 
Mm. Wasn't I don't know. And and this still this <laughs> still very like scientific like 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 my uh you know whatever that machine what is that machine called the like beeps uh for your the, the your heartbeat Beep. oh the Beep. monitor to, to yeah yeah oh, for your vitals yeah okay. like it's like I, I could just see that scene of like in her brain what's going on it, like flat lines and then like all the charges and the shocks yeah, yeah exactly oh my god she just her her and breath audible waves <laughs> crashed through her that's wild we have to. It is wild. We gotta seek more from our partners. I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. I've, I've never died. I had. <laughs> fuck. I've never died. Yeah. I had one concern during this whole thing. Were there no other patients in the waiting room? There were. She mentions it later. She yes. does say at the end. All right, time for my next patient, which makes right. me think: Is everyone? Is treat- everyone getting this? Or I got this like ward on my finger. Oh, I think I know. You need to insert a two finger glove. <laughs> Uh, it's also funny to imagine as a patient when you're waiting in the doctor's office like I had an appointment at noon why am I still waiting to be like maybe that's what's happening that's what's, that's happening. what's happening in a room that's yes. why it takes so long yes fact now i'm mad because <laughs> none mad. of my doctors have ever given me this treatment yeah no. I well you have you come either. in with a headache no, I haven't. Oh, you got to go with a headache. All okay. I get is a Z pack. <laughs> a Z pack. <laughs> they just well, take my urine and they don't even stay in the room for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a Z pack, maybe it was for some fun things you did before the Z pack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's just allergies. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. <Wow. laughs> Amazing. Um, she uh, has orgasm and her her headaches have slightly gone away. She's feeling better. Um, the doctor's like, you know, you can come back for other treatments. And now Stacy's feeling a bit more into it. And she's like, I think I'm ready for another treatment right now. And do you ever do Give two rounds? Me. Have you ever received or have you ever done two rounds of treatment in the same <laughs> d- appointment? Like, isn't it like when you get your HPV shot? Wait, are we talking about sex? <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. I'm talking I'm about like, a doctor's oh, office. Okay. And I'm sorry for not clarifying. Hi, hey, ladies, have you ever had two rounds of treatment? I was like, yes. What's your refractory period on yeah. two rounds of treatment? There's not that many. Uh, I think my record is seven. Seven treatments. Damn. Seven treatments. Yeah. Wow. I mean, clearly it was a free day. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get breakfast and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, definitely. And how many showers? Yeah. And your oh. sheets are gross. Is there showering? In no. Them? I didn't shower. You just didn't sit either. in it. You yeah. sit in it? <laughs> you think about what you did. <laughs> um, so she's, uh, she, uh, Stacy is ready for her next treatment. Uh, the doctor prepares herself. Stacy's wondering to herself, what could be next? You know, she's wondering, am I a lesbian? Is the doctor a lesbian? A uh, uh, direct quote from Stacy: you just feel like this uh, because she just had her fingers in your pussy and gave you the first <laughs> orgasm of your life. Then again, isn't that the definition of, a of lesbian? lesbian? <laughs> Letting a woman do that? I did look up the definition of a lesbian. Oh, please, <laughs> please share. A homosexual woman. End of sentence. <laughs> you said a sentence? It might need a bit more. The end of, then I looked up homosexual. Sexually attracted to people of uh, its own sex. So, Stacy, you a lesbian. Sorry, bitch. Well, she did Sorry, say bitch. I think, was it the first or the second treatment where she said, maybe I am just a straight up lesbian? Yeah. I was like, yeah. good acceptance. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. it's just an attraction. You don't even have to have sex from these definitions yes you define right. it any way you want you yeah tell yourself right, what right. you want i don't give a shit yeah <laughs> just don't call me late for dinner ha 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 <laughs> all right <laughs> okay here we go more of the book <laughs> um i wrote the newly revealed tits were pretty small but oh, yes okay so oh, stacy's tits are small no 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 the, the doctor, doctor's tits the are doctor, small the doctor tits takes small. off her I almost said smock jacket <laughs> her coat, her doctor's coat. and and she's naked and uh, they she said she has perfect tits that sat high on her chest but they're small but pretty tiny which anytime boobs are small in these it's always like but 
But, but what they lack in is, large, they make up for in. Which is like, you give some love to small boobs. All boobs are great. Boobs rule. I tiny love my titties small are awesome. As a yeah. tiny titty woman. <laughs> yes. I will say, there is no but. The people love titties, period. Yeah. yeah. Right? They do. And it doesn't matter the size. Mm-mm. This is where the American patriotic music <laughs> right. plays. <laughs> Everyone loves titties. <laughs> I've got to say, I keep noticing, I don't think I've ever heard any of my girlfriends refer to breasts as tits. I just haven't. I've Not heard tits. men say yeah. tits. I haven't heard women say tits. Yeah. I think I say tits. You say tits? Yeah. Growing up, people okay. said titties. I heard titties. Which is a, if you're, maybe if tits you're four is a derivative. Five, you say I mean, tits, but if you're grown up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you grown up, titties. we say titties. Girls ain't guys. I... I have never referred to my, I say boobs, which is. I've said boobs. Yeah. Boobs or boobies. breasts. When I was little, I called them hobies. I don't even know oh, where I got that like from. Hobies. My grandma ta- taught me that, I think. Oh, hobies. That's really cute. <laughs> Shout out to grandma. Shout out to I'm grandma. Shout out to hobies. All my hobies. All my hobies uh, listening to this. Thank Great. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> For tuning in. Um, Stacy's wondering what could possibly be next? What is left for there for two women to do? Um, um, eat each other out. <laughs> That's what would I thought was die. Nice. <laughs> she literally says, "You're not lesbian." <laughs> she literally says, "Is she going to lick me?" Yes. Uh, which again felt like an alien description yes. of being wow. eaten out. Yes. Is she gonna um, lick, flap her tongue on my bottom? <laughs> uh, but the doctor has something else in store. Uh, doctor Burnett reveals a dildo. dildo. Which is, is this the first um, this woman is, using a dildo? This in is one our, of our first books? strap on. Yeah. Strap <clears throat> on. Which is very exciting. Yes. Um, <laughs> so the doctor has her strap on on. Uh, she, um, they describe the size of it. It's six inches. Which Stacey, but the doctor says she prefers one and a half times bigger. I and, nine, and wider. Nine inches. And wider. She said not one and a half inches wider, but she says she wants nine inches and she would like hers wider. Yeah. Oh, I thought she wanted. Oh, I did the. I thought it was one and a half inches bigger than the six inch, which I thought she wanted a fifteen inch penis. <laughs> wait, what? wait, one and a half inches bigger. Never mind. Wait, what are you, Don't look at my nose. One and a half times. Oh. Bigger. I thought she oh. was using a six inch, and she said, what? "I typically prefer <laughs> yeah. one and a half times bigger." And I went, "Wait a minute!" How six big? Times I, and I read, I, I'm not, I've been fucking whales, and so I kind of prefer. <laughs> this is the part that took me out. I was like, "Now I'm going to do the math," yeah. right. because right. you're like, "Okay, like, but she only wanted a quarter. I only had a no. quarter of it in." And I'm like, "Okay, wait a minute." Okay, the radius is three inches. Right. And that, okay, and that's it's huge. Totally that's a fucking huge deck. Did we know the girth? She didn't give us. She didn't give us. She didn't do circumference on shit. No No. circumference. There's no. There's no uh, freaking area of that circle. We can't figure that part out. But we can figure out the nine inch penis that she prefers. She prefers or dildo strap on. Yes, because she doesn't like penis. Or well, does she uh, like both? I think she. I think she's queer, and I don't. I don't. It does. Yeah. Which I kind of liked that she wasn't explicit about like I don't have sex. Like it's like all fluid. Who cares? Yeah. And uh, one thing that was funny, just like Stacy was like, oh my god, what is that? Like like six (laughs) inches was like very large, which is fine. You can whatever. It's all personal preference. But it was just like this very like doe eyed like oh my god. Yeah. It was written slightly not top of intelligence enough, but I think it did get into the psyche of I haven't been having sex for a while I haven't really been feeling sexual or uh, looking into this much and you kind of slowly realize maybe it's because you haven't been experiencing sex in the way that feels right or good to you and this doctor is helping to bring that out and that I'm always on board for. And she also pointed out that uh, the people you've been having sex with have small penises because this is average. She does an average size. She she makes sure six inches average? I think I thought right. it was five. Oh, it's but five I don't factor? really know. I don't know. That's um, everyone, just... what do we think? Five to five seven. To seven. Five to seven. Okay. Our, our we penis got a very expert. A <laughs> penis expert uh, has whispered. Let's give a hand to our penis, penis expert, expert, everybody. Thank you. Five to seven. <laughs> and is that placid or erect? Oh. No. Uh, she's saying, please stop talking to me. <laughs> she says probably erect. Oh. Erect. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Also, I will say there was a little ego stroke in this for men who are average sized, uh, which I guess most Could men be. are because it's average. It's uh, average. Be like, this is, you're doing good, at yeah. least according to Stacy. Like, right. This is there was ego perfect. stroking for that, but her small tits were fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. So a, a small titted woman would like, no, no, no. She wants a nine incher. I don't I've know. been with men with smaller penises, and I had a wonderful time. So mm-hmm. what are you gonna do? What you are know? you gonna do? There's great. Tweet more to sex. What are you going to do? (laughs) (laughs) Tweet at uh, Mike Trapp. (laughs) At Mike W. Trapp on Twitter. What are you going to do about it? (laughs) Don't tweet at anyone else. Um, The stretch was unbelievable. This is the dildo going in. Her tight, unused pussy... Uh, not used, used to uh, not used to opening for it anything like more a than a tampon. A woman did not write that. Not at all. No, no not one not is all. thinking, oh, the last thing in there was a tampon. tampon. Also, <laughs> like that's such a comfortable experience. Tampons are dry and fucking shitty. Yeah. <laughs> Especially those cardboard ones. I'm trying oh. to help the world, but my I won't God. tell you the brand because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> we don't know the one I'm referring to. <laughs> but they help it slip in there though, the the box. The, the applicator. Cardboard. Yeah, yeah. But I could fucking do that with myself. Okay. The way, the how effective that is. It's easier with it's yourself. It's so dry. You it know, is so dry, and it goes in at a weird angle. <laughs> Um, they, she's putting the dildo in and she's not even sure if it's all the way in yet. Uh, and then the doctor says, no, that's just the head. So just she's like tip. really kind of opening her up, figuring out what, you know, dilation, figuring therapy. each other out. Dilation. Uh, she does at one point say, aha, you are actually a lesbian. Stacy says that to the doctor. And it's beautiful that that can be scientifically proven. And then the doctor, <laughs> this is when I really love the doctor labels for the most part rarely encapsulate the truth. That oh, is that was actually deep. stunning. That was I yeah. like that. That was beautiful. Yeah. Dr. Burnett did go to medical school. Yeah. Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. She does her job. She does it she professionally. Does <laughs> She's and only naked some of the time. Yeah. I'm guessing she put her clothes back on for the next patient. If I had I my own so. practice, I'd be naked all the time, too. <laughs> and that's a <laughs> promise. Let me tell you, there's not a lot sexy <laughs> about a doctor's promise. office. And mostly your patients aren't sexy either. Yeah. That's what I think. It's just not a sexy Please. Anytime I go, I'm like, <laughs> which, which I can't which, talk right now. The doctor is doing to you as well in regards to your medical history. <laughs> it's just not. I'm, oh, screaming from the stretching and intense friction. Screaming in the doctor's office with the patients in the waiting room. What are they thinking? I want to hear their perspective. Yeah. <laughs> We got to read the second book. Kendra, Kendra, what are they thinking? thinking? (laughs) Now, I would be thinking either A, it's time to go, (laughs) or B, I need to see what's happening in there, depending on what her screams sound like. You try to go through that other, that door? Like, because I might want that. (gasps) Ooh. (laughs) Depending on what the scream sounds like. Yeah, the number one, you don't want that. Number two, you want that scream. Yeah. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Mm. What's the number one? (laughs) The number one is the bad scream. The bad scream, like, (laughs) ah! Oh, oh. And then the, someone's and dying. Just okay. honest, I'll leave. Yeah, <laughs> I won't save them. I, I, I won't call anyone to I'm help. Not them. Anyone. I'm just Who getting is out she of dodge. supposed to call when the doctors are the one doing it? Nine one one. I don't know. <laughs> what if they do the same thing? It's true. Because you know they they're doing that down at the precinct. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see your son, is, your son has been kidnapped. Oh. You have a tension headache. <laughs> Um, oh, the doctor says, let's call it what it is. I'm about to fuck your pussy with a dildo in my office. Who's Direct quote. I've never heard fuck your pussy unless it was pornography. Yeah. And from a man. In real life. But I like that the doctor man. gets to it. This is when I really get into Dr. Burnett. Yeah. I'm just really into this. I think it's awesome that she's like, this is what's happening. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, it worked. It in the book it says it worked the way it was designed to. It, it's just who I'm just I'm fascinated by who is reading I think they this. Were tired. Like, who yes, is yes. Olivia? They were, they were tired for that part. They just they and listen. a dildo. It works the way you know a dildo, dildo yeah, works. That's how it's you know, all right, here we go. It's doing its job. It's doing its job. Yada, yada. <laughs> it's doing et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um. Oh my God, another direct quote. I can't help myself. Well, Stacy, I thought you would look absolutely lovely with a just fucked look on your face. And it turns out I was right. 
How fucking cool. She's like James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. You know James the Bond is profession. always swooping in and fucking people. I mean, yeah. yeah. I thought you yes. might look cool if I fucked the shit out of you. It turns out I was right. I was <laughs> and, then he, right. and then he kisses her on the cheek. Later, babe. Later, babe. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. And this then, is your office. <laughs> Where are you going? Why are you leaving? <laughs> well, you left on a jet pad? <laughs> There was one inaccuracy in the book. Uh, oh, Stacy, uh, they're making love. They're not making love. I'm not even going to say it. Uh, but uh, she does say with the the uh, mess that happens, this lesbian stuff is fun. No mess to clean up. I can assure you there is a mess to clean up. I, I think that's absurd. There's always a mess. There's mess when I'm by myself. E- e- yes, yes. Yeah. Even if you aren't a squirting <laughs> type of person, there's mess. <laughs> there's something. Can you we know? address squirting? Okay. Yes. It Once looks for very all. urinish to me. The yes. research yeah. I've done is that it is mostly urine. Yeah. I always thought it was pee pee. I, I watched always one I called. Peeing. I watched a porn pee-pee? once called Chunky's Angels, and <laughs> <laughs> and at the very end, this woman <laughs> named um, Bridget Waters. Uh, her big finisher was to do that, and she did it all over this sad like mattress in the back of this art gallery. Um, the art gallery owner had a lot of tension, and Chunky's Angels came and helped him with his oh. tension. Angels, oh. angels, angels. <laughs> but um, but you think it was pee? And I was like, that has to it's be pee pee. People make arguments. It was very that clear not, she looked like, hydrated, but I've seen yellow, and I'm like, no, <gasps> that's ma'am, me. that's me. no, I, ma'am. I have seen clear. Stop. I've seen. I've seen clear. I'm sorry. Yes, I have too. That's, yeah, for myself. No, I, 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 I was like, <laughs> oh, Kendra, we all know we mean ourselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> we either mean ourselves, a partner, or porn. Okay. <laughs> all we're talking about Those here. Those are the only possibilities. <laughs> or we're just lying. Yeah. So, so there is like, the, so there is a pickup along the canal of you know whatever juices are lubricating you that make it clear or whitish but yeah. then if you keep going it's yellow because it's pee but hey that's my belief okay. that's that's that's, that's a good doctor's to know. opinion hmm. it's an opinion it is an opinion it's just wait, we're gonna have to talk to another doctor <laughs> yes <laughs> that's, an opinion. that's so funny uh, great uh, i mean so she's wrong yeah there's mess I think regardless, there's always a mess. Always a mess. It didn't say she squirted. Yeah. No. Yeah, I didn't say she squirted, but I still think there's a little something, especially if you're fingering, you got juices on your hands. And And just the way they describe the, or she reaches a very, exactly as always, climatic And at least you clean the dildo or something. Exactly. It's medical. You have to, it's a medical use dildo. And if it's in the drawer, that means other patients get the same treatment, probably. Yeah. Or maybe it's not like a popsicle. uh, There's not like 20 of them in there. Maybe disposable. You know, like when they take out the little thing to put in your ear, Mm -hmm. and then they just throw that out but it's not like, the whole machine it's just a little exactly. cover there's right. an insert she put a on the dildo on there's an insert on the dildo oh. maybe like the ear thing I was yes. gonna say I didn't read that you made that up <laughs> I'm making it up I'm, I'm, when they I'm use just the gonna probe. assume that it was there because she's a doctor yeah. yeah well when they use a probe for the like transvaginal ultrasounds there's a condom on it so oh wow it's like you know uh, that makes more sense than I would like being... to think Dr. Burnett would yeah yeah, she, she definitely uses from everything that I know of her. Yeah. She sounds like she's on her A game. So. Yeah. Uh, her headache is gone. The doctor unbuckles her harness. She's like, all right, well, time for the next patient. So do, abrupt. Do, do. So, so abrupt. crazy. <laughs> and that there are other patients waiting. Uh, she does mention that she makes house calls. Oh, I loved this part. She slides her business card in Stacy's butt. <laughs> and then their lips are real close. And they have a little kiss, which I think is their first kiss. Which is hot. I thought this was real. I, what a cool fuck. I wrote, Doc is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stacy is left uh, wondering, maybe I'm a straight up lesbian. Again, Stacy's direct words. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the doctor gives a little call me and I will come and so will you. <laughs> Lights out. Can you imagine if your hot doctor said that to you? Yeah. My eye doctor <laughs> told me that. <laughs> if, if half of your it's eye like, doctor said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need your ear doctor. <laughs> oh my god. Um the next book is called Home Treatment and there was a little blurb of it past this one. She still keeps referring to her as the older woman, but they go to Stacy's house and uh, she gives her a little home treatment. Nice. Um. So this relationship continues. I do love how very stereotypically the doctor was like, all right, baby, I'm out. And then like left her there to clean up herself by herself. Yeah. 
That's so like, funny. Humiliated. Fuck? Right. No, yeah. no cuddling and or anything. And you never know what to do with the, the gown. Paper. <laughs> yeah. I put this uh, in half. Like, I'll just leave it. Oh, in. the paper's ripped. <laughs> oh. I will say I appreciated Stacy's journey to self-discovery. Yeah, oh, that was You sure. know what? Because she, she came in there. I'm like, I don't know. Am I a lesbian? Am I not? I don't know. I don't well, know. She was definitely no at first, or she thought she was. Right. Yeah. And by the yeah. end of it, she was like, you know what? I, I am. am. And she wasn't ashamed of it. That's she was ashamed beautiful. of it in the beginning. That's yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, to Jess's point, too, she realized that she was not being sexually satisfied uh, in, a, in a way that was satisfying to her. She was not having sex that was satisfying to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is mm-hmm. nice. I think sometimes people assume like, oh, maybe I just don't like sex. But, mm-hmm. it, you know, and maybe it's you don't. Maybe, maybe right you sex. are asexual mm-hmm. or, may, you know, or maybe, uh, but yeah, never think I have to be normal to what other people think is this or that. It's all about finding what's good for you. And I that's like what, so and that's that's what stress yes. treatment is all about. about acceptance. Yeah. Exactly. Stories <laughs> about acceptance. So what did we think? If you had to rate this on yes. our scale, which is one is a drought, mm-hmm. five is slide off your chair. And we can also keep the different categories yes. in mind. The, the, lesbian, this medical, medical, our lesbian and medical, and first lesbian time medical expert. expectations. Yes. If I'm in the same position or just me, like yes. as I exist in this world right now. Uh, just speak from your heart. You speak, yeah, for you as heart. like, I would say you as like a reader of this and then you can What also was your enjoyment yeah. level? Yeah. Um, well, I, it, it had a very good entertainment value for me. Okay. Yes. Um, not necessarily of the sexual nature. Okay. Um, so I give it a 1.5 because I was excited that, you know, that they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. But as for me as a bystander or witness to their whatever um i was like uh this word is spelled wrong so <laughs> i wasn't really you didn't mean lose yourself not, in it. yeah you don't correct myself. someone's grammar no. when you're having sex no, if it's like no. good right right if they say the wrong word and yeah. i'm really into it i don't care yeah i may laugh at them afterwards yeah. but during yeah i won't <laughs> um kendra I went in waves, right? So I'm like, yeah, she's never had an orgasm. She's about to have one. And then they said cunt, and then it went back down. Mm. (laughs) And then I'm like, yeah, she had an orgasm. This is empowering. And then something else happened. I forgot. It must. I don't remember what the word was. Oh, the math problem took yeah. me out. <laughs> the math problem. The math problem took me out. T- it was the right calculus in the exam in the middle of the yeah. book. <laughs> Not sexy. Um, so I guess I would probably because I came in waves. It came in waves. I didn't come in waves. But do you normally uh, come in waves? Undying, unborn, died and reborn a thousand times over in audible waves. A waves. thousand. A thousand. I'll give it a two. A two. Because. Right. I, I, there were some ups, but then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Dr. Burnett really won me over by the end. I honestly wish the next books were about her and just each new patient that she meets and her just oh. fucking taking care of business. Yeah, sexually liberating everyone. <laughs> I think in the movie, she's kind of like a, like a Tomb Raider style chick. I will hmm. say, Jess, did you not say you wish to play Dr. Burnett I in the movie? I also said if I, may, if I put every last time I have in a, my stress treatment uh, <laughs> script that I would cast myself as Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Like, ah. what's up? What's up? <laughs> oh my god. Um I mean our first strap on I I got to give this a, a 2.5. Yeah. At least. Oh. Uh I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you and Kendra of like somewhere in the 2 to 2.5 range of just like I felt little waves of things like if I made that fingering consensual, that was like fun. Yeah. It, but it's yeah. like you're doing mental you're doing right. another math problem. Right. Like, right. I'm not here to take the right. SATs, um, you know, <laughs> um, um, and the strap on was cool. It wasn't like totally my thing um, in terms of just like I don't, I don't know. I have the size stuff, like really, I'm not interested in that stuff. Um, but it, it matters seems... so much more to men, I feel, yes, than women. Yeah, exactly. Uh, size, so the like her no, pleasure, size, but the actual number. We're talking oh, about the, the number. number. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. It, I can see it. It looks nice. Fine. Right. <laughs> I'm like, Good it's for you. Cute. Who cares? Uh, so like, but I liked her pleasure. I liked the descriptions of the orgasms. I like like. Yeah, like, you know, we get a shout out to small boobs. That's really nice. And that's, you know, it's cute. It's but. great. Um, um, yeah, so I'll put it like a 2, 2.5. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A pretty slightly below average book. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really funny. 
it's, there were yes. some, I laughed fun. a lot. You yeah. know what I liked most about it? I feel like we've had just lots of great conversation that had nothing to do with the plot or characters. Yeah. Yeah. Was there like a it plot? brought up cool Not totally uh, you know plot i sat in a doctor's office she fucked me i left yeah. <laughs> the classic Hemingway yeah. tale <laughs> short story oh but the, the character did have an arc she was not at all lesbian yes. and then was like oh i am a lesbian this is a so, character story you yeah. have inception yeah. stories where it's more about the plot and then you have some character ones where it's That's more true. about so this was character driven and this you know, know how quick these. doctor's visits are sometimes you're there for five minutes That's so this true. we don't even know how long this was this could have been a five minute journey yeah for two treatments? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Well, I mean, you know that refractory period for people True. who have multiple Ten orgasms, minutes. it's pretty, um, oh, I was going to say short, but okay. Um, it depends. It <laughs> depends. Knows? Every person is different. Yes. I'm assuming she had a quick one if this is a very short, because, yeah. you know, they have short, medium, and long, and they like schedule people based on how much time they need to spend. So a headache Ooh. was short. Headache was short. I think this took the amount of time it took to read the book. I think she was in there for this thirty. Is, this minutes. happened in real time. Thirty. Oh. oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. How long I like the dimension to the book. I think. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think this happened in our universe. I think time is. is <laughs> this is it, a different <laughs> cinematic universe, right? It Entirely. puzzled me that there was not really any questions surrounding the headaches or like the nature of them or if anything triggers them, etc. Or Caffeine. even this consideration of like. Like imaging or anything like that. It was just like, yeah, you got a headache because you didn't get fucked. Uh, so yeah. let, let's address that. And then I was like, but what if something really is wrong? Yeah, I do think that <laughs> Stacy died of a brain Stacey Stacey died, died, died during this treatment. You have to listen to women. <laughs> listen yeah. to women. Yeah. Women yes. in the medical field, please. Very true. Okay. Um, Thank you all so much for being Well, first of all, thank our, our thank guests. Thank you so much, Khalil. Thank you. Thank you, Kendra. Um, and thank you for listening. We do have our next uh, book picked out. This is another fan rec. We absolutely love fan recs. It's another great reason to be on Dropout and in the Discord because uh, people are giving us fun ones all the time. But this one I'm just so excited about because it's our first graphic Pick novel. novel. So we won't have to imagine it in our heads. It'll be right there. The work oh. is done for us. Will we like that? We'll find out. Um, this isn't on Amazon, and I'm going to seem like a real old woman trying to describe how to get to this. <laughs> Uh, you go to buttsmithy.com. Uh, the author's name is In Case, I N S C A S E, and the book is called Alfie. We'll have all of the information on our Discord as well as we always do. Uh, this is the story of a remote halfling village coming into contact with humans for the first time. I wonder what they'll do uh, when they play meet. cards play, they'll probably play cards go fishing yeah. Have uh, intellectual so that is our book yeah. for next time in case Alfie uh, this was a fan rec from toast wizard uh, but smithy.com thank you all for being here uh, have a sexy life have a yeah. sexy life everyone thank Woo. you I'm Reka from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for other fun stuff, and thank you so much for watching. I love my job and I'm definitely not trapped in this video. Things are great.